What's up, my Koopa Troop? It's Koops! And, you know. and welcome back to more Rabbids plus Mario. In yeah. a battle for the kingdom. Yeah, why not? <laughs> why does Mario get all the credit? Anyways, we're on to challenge 10. Easy, right hero for the job. Hmm. We might have to choose... We might have to be picking new heroes, Perhaps. maybe. Well, what? We get one other choice, so, okay, I yeah, mean, that's... it's not much choice. Oh, reach areas? Well, you know what? Luigi... One turn limit. Actually, Luigi seems pretty good for this one, then. He can use his itchy feet to get us forward. Yeah, he can use his ability. We have very specific spots to land on. Wow. One here, one there, and one over here. With one Garden Ziggy so Garden. How are we gonna do this? Hmm. I kind of have referred Rabbit Luigi been Okay, Rabbit Luigi could do there. And then maybe he can catapult off of Luigi onto this spot. Then Luigi And then the Mario who oh. Okay, how far can Luigi go? I think it might be easy. This might I, again it says easy, so I think with Rabbit Luigi there. Luigi can then jump off of him from there to... Th oh, no, no, no. There's no way. Oh, but he's got his itchy feet. He might be able to increase Mario's range. Oh, that's not enough still. Plus one cell, he'd be able to make it. Oh, but if Mario bounces off of someone, he bounces... No, he jumps off of uh, someone who's... Whoever's here, which is, might be a rival Luigi. Yeah. Bounces off of this guy and lands in that cell. Okay, we can try it. All right. I think that's what we got to do. Let's give it a shot. So first we're gonna use itchy feet. Yeah, just in case. Oh, uh, do you use? Fortunately, Rabbit Luigi wouldn't get caught in it, but let's check if Rabbit Luigi can get to. Yeah, he can. So I think. Yep, that'll be okay. I think we got this. Got it. Okay. Yeah, so I, use I, itchy feet first to help out yep, Mario. Just, yep. Let's go. So now Rabbit Luigi moves. Yep. He's gonna bounce and he's gonna go to his spot. Right, Luigi, help Luigi over to the spot. <laughs> no, we don't need no, to do that. No, we don't need to do that. In fact, I All think right. this guy's gonna die to Mario. Yep, and then Mario's I... gonna bounce off him. Yep, he was gonna die to Mario. Crush him and then and land, land on right spot. on the spot. Yep. Up, oh, look out, friend! Oh, thanks for the help, buddy. We needed you to get over here. Mm -hmm. Now, can Luigi make his spot? That's the final question. If he can't, I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, Luigi. Yes, just barely. Just like that. Easy. So you did, Easy. it is required, Luigi, because you needed that extra space. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I don't think his extra movement range actually applies to the team jump. Oh. But he does get pretty a good amount of uh, team jump, like, range. Mm -hmm. So I think, actually, they were asking you to pick Luigi, Luigi. for that, to jump all the way over there. But, now, that was so, challenge 10 easy. So it's not really, like, it gets harder and harder and harder, because that could have been challenge 1, realistically. Yeah. It probably should have been probably challenge, been one, challenge but... one. Hey, I'll take an easy one after challenge nine. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> challenge Ooh. nine was miserable. That might have been like their way of saying, "Oh, we're sorry for that challenge nine. How, how about having an easy challenge to finish it all off?" So because let's go all the way to the top. Yeah, that was the tenth challenge, and there's ten challenges in the world. That should be done then, so right? That should be done, and why don't we just go up to the top and take a nice view from the top of this tower, which probably we should have also, already fallen apart by now. We but. can also exit and see if we've gotten all the stuff for the area, right? You yeah. can check the world. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure that is everything we got in World 1, or everything in World 1 is... Completed. Completed, yes. Ooh. Ooh. Thank goodness. It This game takes a long time to get through. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of challenging stuff, and everything so far has been easy to medium, so I'm a little nervous about when it says hard, or very <laughs> hard, which I'm assuming it probably eventually will. Yep. I don't see anyone waving a nope. flag up here. Nope, I think it's all cleared out up here. Perfect, I don't see any take, monkeys up here yeah, either. Yeah, we can take a look at this nice uh, painted view down below. Reminds me of Super Mario RPG for some reason. <laughs> oh, what's that over there? Maybe they forgot a to bunch of in. A bunch of yellow and red pixels. All right, let's, I think we're done with this All area. right, so let's leave and check out, make sure we got it all 100% done. All right. Turn to Peach's Castle. Do you really want to warp to Peach's Castle? Yes. Yes, I am done with this area. Yes, people, we're done with World 1. Let's get yes. back to Peach's Castle. I am done with World 1. I <laughs> want to exit this area. And how do we check? We can check by actually going to the cannon. Going to World okay, 1. Okay, so you head back over to World 1 again. Yep. Collect the five coins or whatever on the way. Yeah, five coins. And so we go check the cannon, and this will tell us how we've done. And it says... Complete, complete, everything checked off the list. That's what I like to see. Everything nice. is done. Now, if it wasn't, it would say like 9 out of 10. 
you know, it would say 9 out of 10 challenges yep. completed. And but, have a giant red X next to it. But we've got it all done, so you nice, get nice green check marks against it. All them. right, then that will be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you all enjoyed. Go ahead and karate chop that like button. Until next time, GG! Wow!